There's such mm. power yeah, there in is. your words. Yeah. And um, we meet every Tuesday night, 7 o'clock at St. Joe's on uh, Main Street. Mm -hmm. It's right next over to, to the University of Buffalo. Okay. And that's Coping Through Christ. That's people who, who want to cope with their anxiety and mm -hmm. depression through Christ. Wow. You know, you know what I find out. <clears throat> I'm going I'm to read another another um, scripture that comes out of Psalms 34, 4. It says, "I sought the Lord, and He heard me, and He delivered me from all of my fears." And you know, when when I read that, that's 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 a promise from God. When you seek Him, He will deliver you from all of your fears. And it's anxiety and fear that oftentimes drives people in, into depression. And I, I find it very unique that we have a gentleman sitting here that. Um, gets people that are depressed and gets them out of their cocooning, if you want to call it that, mm -hmm. and, and has interaction with other people. And that is the most important thing that you can do for yourself. If you're, if you're going through, you know, uh, part of depression, um, reaching out to other people or having them reach out to you can make a big difference in, a, in, in the beginning of a, of a healing process and a freedom from the sense of depression. Mm -hmm. How, tell me, is, do, you, do you find that people struggle um, when you try to encourage them to come out and, and be, become part of something because they are depressed? Well, here's the thing. Um, that's a very good point. Um, and having the experience of having my wife, a, a, a Debbie, she was pretty much my caregiver during this time, people, time period of when I was depressed and I didn't want to leave the house. Mm -hmm. and. If you want to reach people who are so depressed they can't <clears throat> leave the house, mm -hmm. you have to either um, reach out to a loved one okay. or people who are involved because it's going to be them to uh, motivate the people to get them out of the house. Mm -hmm. It was Debbie who showed me that email. And um, basically, I think that God uses different people for uh, different things. Mm -hmm. and. Um, as, as you know, Jesus had all different uh, disciples with all different personality traits. And, all different gifts. and I'll tell you what, um, each one of us has a job to reach out to a different people. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, I think it's, it's really um, our organization will um, motivate the caregivers, if you will, mm -hmm. and also um, just pretty much advertise what we're doing. And by the way, if uh, anyone out there wants to be in a, a rock opera, the doors are open. <laughs> <laughs> open invitation, right? Open o invitation, open yes. Open invitation. Well, let me tell you, you, you just heard an open invitation, and you know there's there's numbers on, on the bottom of your screen you can call and reach out to Richie because he'd be happy to have you in one of his productions. Believe me, he would. And I, I, I find this to be very, very interesting because... Um, so many people do struggle with depression. There's more people depressed than people realize. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I really believe that um, oftentimes the hospitals are full of psychosomatic diseases more mm -hmm. than they are physical diseases. But um, it, it, is, it is such a, a terrible thing for a person to go through. Um, it's, it's a real struggle. It's a battle. Mm -hmm. And it's a battle within the mind. And oftentimes it's the enemy feeding them with lies, tell them they're, they're not worth anything. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've encountered that where people feel so unworthy that they, that they, that that's the biggest struggle they have is their unworthiness. Well, I will say this. All those self-defeating voices, that's right. if you're out there and you suffer from a depression, I know what it's like to get all these defeating, mm. I'm never going to do this, I should have done that, mm. I can't believe I did this. I'm never going to amount to anything. My dreams are over. There is no hope. Oh, yeah. Those are all lies. That's okay? Right. And um, I am a living proof that that is a lie. I spent a whole summer in my house, which became a jail. That's if right. if uh, you're going through this r right now, I want to tell you something. There is hope out there. All the voices that, that, that you were hearing, that you're telling yourself that you're no good and you're not w worth anything, and sometimes you might even feel like th this world would be better if I wasn't here, mm -hmm. that is a lie. That's Do great. not listen to, to, to that voice. Listen to the voice. There's a little teeny-weeny voice inside, and sometimes you hear it and say, you know what? Things can be better. There can be hope out there. Um, and you know what? That little teeny-weeny voice... That is God telling you that you have wonderful things in store, but you got to listen to your voice, and it's actually your heart. Mm -hmm. 
That's right. You know, and I'm just encouraging people to please don't listen to the lie. Listen to the truth. Yeah, and the truth is that God loves them. That's the truth. That's that's hard to believe sometimes for some people because they don't feel very loved at all. They don't feel it. They just don't feel it. And, you know, people, you know, if, if you're out there, don't base things on always on feelings either. Base things on a fact. God says, I love you. He says it. I love you. God doesn't lie. And they can sense that love. That That's an absolutely incredible, incredible moment. Well, listen, we, you know, we, this, this show goes so fast, it's unbelievable. We've got a couple minutes left, and I'd like you just to look into the camera, and if you have something to share with those that are out there, um, or if you want to pray with them, why don't you take a couple minutes just to do that, and okay. before we close the show down. And before we do that, I just want to let you know it's a pleasure talking to you, and I think that um, you do wonderful things. And now I want to talk to everybody out there. Um, Earlier on, I said that if you do suffer from a depression, that there is hope out there. You know, for the longest time, what stopped me is um, I had such a horrible idea of what a Christian was. I saw them as like, um, you know, um, fakes, frauds, people who are just after your cash, people who are judging you. You look on the news and there's people j judging people all the time. And unfortunately, a lot of those people are Christians. Well, I'm here to tell you what. I'm a Christian, and I don't feel like that because God changed my life, and he can change your life too. Those people who are out there judging you, tr trying to get your cash, they're not Christians. They are false prophets. They are liars. You are a very special person. God created you as a very unique individual, and he loves you very much. There is hope, and there is a way out, and I am here to tell you I want you to open those doors right now I will invite you to be any a part of anything in our ministry a reach out of West New York because I'm gonna tell you something when you help other people's people's I mean people yeah okay I'll sure. cut the ass off when you help other people you are gonna help yourself so please contact us and if you do contact the number i do have an entertainment co company called superstars live okay. and i do like uh, i guess it's like a, a disney a version of, of a vegas where we like elvis and tom jones the phantom of the opera it's uh, me and my wife debbie so if you call my machine it'll say welcome to superstars live that's just me pretending that we have an office okay <laughs> so, so please just ask for a richie or a, a reach out of west new york and you can actually facebook me and um, I think that my name's on the screen, R-I-C-H-I-E-D-E-R-W-A-L-D. Rich, it has been wonderful having you on the show today. And um, I, I believe that you are, have been a real benefit to those who are wondering, where am I going to go next? And for those of you that are out there who have watched this, I pray that the joy is beginning to return right now. And if, and if you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, all you got to do is ask him and say, Lord Jesus, come in. I know I'm a sinner. Forgive me. I'm sorry. And you just watch. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. Not only will you feel different, if you're, if you're involved in depression, the depression will lift. And it'll lift because Jesus Christ, went on a cross, died just for you so you can be free. If you need extra help, call him. Come to the healing rooms. But in the meantime, know that you are much loved and highly favored, and our blessings go out to each one of you who are watching. In Jesus' name, have a great day.